What's up guys, we are back with another Premium DNA Barnyard Commandos review, taking a look at another pair of figures from Wave 1 with our regular and Stealth Ops versions of Private Side O'Bacon. So we've got him here with the regular version up first with the slipcover, and this one is the more detailed version, so it's got full art slipcover covered in all of this barn motif, obviously, that makes sense. So you got the front of the barn, you've got the side of the barn with the, the ooze that transforms them, you've got the back of the barn, and then you've got some munitions and the Jeep on the other side. Pop that off and the box within is sort of the barn exploded, basically. So the figure there is in the big window, you've got his nameplate down there on the bottom, the Rams logo on, on one side, the Porks logo on the other, and the barn is all beat to hell now. And then on the back of the package, you've got his file card, bio, what he comes with, as well as a cross-sell for everything that comes in Wave 1 for the standard figures. And then we've got our Stealth Ops version, which comes in a more, I don't know, normal package. It's not as crazy when it comes to all the artwork. It's very subdued, so stealthy. So you've got the slipcover still. All of the logos all over it are glow-in-the-dark, because there's some glow-in-the-dark stuff for this particular colorway. Pop that slip cover off, and the same kind of thing's going on in here, where the packaging is sort of like exploded and, and broken a bit. So you've got the figure there in the window, nameplate, and then on the spines you've got the Rams logo and the Porks logo with some holes in the crate, and then the, all of those logos again are glow in the dark, and then the back of the box gives you cross-sell for all of the stealth versions of what we get in Wave 1. So let's do it. Let's pull them out and take a look. And here we go, out of the package, our Barnyard Commandos, Wave 1, Private Side O'Bacon, and just like with all the other characters, figures in this line, I just feel so ridiculous saying this guy's name, because, I mean, it's just stupid, but here we are. So, we've got another instance of one of the four, well, they're all four-legged, right? But one of the figures that stands on all four legs. So this is similar to Major Leg or Mutton, the first one that I took a look at, but this is the Porks counterpart, so one of the pigs. Uh, now, of course, it is a little bit different from the bipedal versions of these figures, but they're all sort of similar. So uh, we're going to quickly look at articulation. We will pull one of them aside. We'll pull the stealth variant aside and take a look at this guy and see what he can do. So as far as articulation goes, this is still pretty similar to the Rams counterpart, but at the same time, a little bit different. Uh, mostly it's because of, of the fact that this guy seems to be a little bit more locked down than the others. Like the head doesn't really seem to do a whole lot. It has a little shimmy, but that's about it. And, and honestly, he's really just supposed to be doing this. So not the biggest deal to me, I guess. The four legs go out. They do rotate, of course. We've got a single jointed knee. My joints on this guy are really, really tight. Not in the sense that like I'm worried about them, just sort of a note. And then you've got rotation there also. The feet do have a ball pegs and they have a little shimmy, so it's not exactly what I would call a rocker, but they do move. The back legs swivel forward and backward, and then they do hinge out as well. But they're meant to be this sort of squatty position, so they don't really do a whole lot. And then they've got those weird knees because, of course, the legs are sort of hunched over on themselves. So they do come out, and you can get this guy to stand up on all, on well, not all fours, but on his back legs if you need to. And then you've got a little bit of shimmy swivel at the feet back there. No moving tail on this guy, uh, because he just has the little, you know, pig curly Q kind of thing. He also has the uh, diaphragm cut, but again, it doesn't really do a whole lot for the figure. It does move quite a bit, but that's... That's weird, so it does work, but I'm not so sure, again, like with the rest of these figures, I'm honestly not so sure that articulation is the main focus, because they weren't articulated really in the vintage line, they didn't really do anything. It's all about the look and the aesthetic and, well, the size also. So they do have some articulation, but ultimately they're just supposed to sort of stand there and look, I would say cool, but just ridiculous is probably the better word. And while I do think they do look, well, pretty ridiculous, this guy might be one of my favorites. I think the, the two that I haven't gotten to, well, this one being one of them, are my favorites in this bunch because this mean-looking pig with this massive, massive cannon on his back, and of course, you know, we've got the stealth variant back now uh, to sort of show them both off. I think it's pretty awesome. I'm really, really happy with this one. There is, again, a ton, and I can't stress this enough when it comes to these figures, a ton of paint all over them. Every single inch of these figures is fully painted. 
And then of course you do have a lot of texture, a lot of sculpt. Like what's really weird is like even on these back legs, there is a lot of texture back here. It's not just smooth. You've got all like the wrinkles in the skin. You've got the, the you know, the big tusks basically sticking out of the mouth. He's got this scowl going on. He's got the, the ring in the nose. You've got some nice weathering on that nose. And there are a few little differences between the paint schemes uh, for the regular versus the stealth. And of course, I'm not talking about the colors. It is just in the sense that there are a few things that have been changed. So like the nose being weathered, the ring being metallic on this version, the feet being shiny versus matte, because of course he's stealth, so he shouldn't be shiny. Uh, so that makes perfect sense. And then of course, you know, you've got your big weapon up here, which does look pretty amazing. It is removable, uh, just like the other one is and it is keyed this time around, so it does fit in there really, really nicely. It just sort of pegs in really well. No issues with that. Tons of detail on this thing, though. I mean, it's absolutely loaded to the brim with sculpted detail. It's a weird looking cannon, you know, some sort of hyper mega laser thing. We've got the visor here also, which we'll get to accessories here in a minute, but it is, you know, technically part of the accessories. It doesn't come on the figure, but you're supposed to have one of those on him. So you've got the, the clear one here, which I think looks pretty tremendous. Of course, that's translucent plastic with some piping around it to, to finish off the paint. But there's just a lot of weathering all over this. It looks worn, and of course, you know, these guys are radioactive barnyard animals, so they've got barnyard equipment, and it looks worn and beaten and used. Of course, our stealth variant is the same figure. So same idea, it's a pig on all fours, with the ring in his nose, with the big tusks sticking out, but he's a lot more matte finish and some of those smaller details, like I mentioned. And then it's a, it's, a, it's a stealth variant, so he's supposed to have that sort of camouflage night look to him, so blacks and grays, where you had the browns and the tans, and then he's got the green accents all over his weapon. The weapon is not nearly as weathered and sort of worn as our standard version, but they're still very much the same, and then there is some glow-in-the-dark paint on this as well. It is pretty minimal on this one, honestly. There's not a lot of stuff on this that glows. I was really hoping that these big like pipes were gonna glow, or the you know the tubes, but they don't glow. Basically, just sort of the, so the smaller details on this big honking gun uh, do glow, but just like the rest of this stuff, it glows really bright, and it does stick around for a while. So I'm happy with that, even if I wish it you know did have a little bit more to it. So. It's a pretty cool looking figure, and again, you know, these things are huge. I don't know if I'm going to do size comparisons for these because they're the same size as the rest. But they're big, big monster figures, and, and I'd, you know, I'd be lying if, if I said this thing wasn't even remotely heavy because, I mean, I don't want to get hit in the head with this. This is like a weapon in, in someone's hand. They are big, massive, hefty, hefty figures that just have, well, they got a lot of shelf presence, but in sort of like the weirdest way. Now, as far as accessories goes, I would say they're kind of light on accessories, but this is just like with Major Legger Mutton in the same way where this is one of the figures that has the big, big accessory, the big weapon being part of their look, part of, you know, the figure. It's attached to him. It's not, it's removable, of course, but it's, it's attached to him. So he doesn't have as much extra stuff, but there's still a lot for him. Uh, so to start with, they both get the same uh, accessories, you know, as far as that goes. They get the same stuff. They both come with different visors, and these are opaque so you can change them out if you want to have like a blast shield look. So you've got these, they're the exact same, they're no different. And then they come with a bale of hay, which while maybe not the most exciting accessory, I do really like because if you get the other ones, you know, especially like Major Legger Mutton, you know, put your, put your watermelon, put your pumpkin next to them, and then it makes it look like you're actually gonna like, you know, set that scene where you've got more farm stuff around so it kind of it kind of makes this into a little bit more of a complete thing if you've got these other figures with some of the more farmy type of stuff that's not just weaponry so uh, it is kind of a little diorama or display building set of accessories with these guys uh, when it comes to the ones that are on four legs so you get this big i mean this is a big old thing of hey it's you can see us how big it is next to the figure it's it's very very large of course you can use this with other stuff too if you needed a bale of hay now you've got them. So maybe not the, the greatest array of accessories with this particular figure, but when you mirror it or pair it rather with the big massive laser cannon on his head, he does have a decent amount of stuff. Certainly when it comes to the amount of plastic for his accessories. So overall, I am pretty happy with this guy. Again, I'm kind of leaning towards this one being my favorite of the two that stand on all fours. Something about this mean looking pig really, really does it for me. 
Again, more weird stuff to have to say on video, but I really like this guy. The articulation, not the greatest with this one, but again, I'm not really sure that's a big deal or even a selling point with these because it's a pig on all fours. What's it really gonna do? It does have some mobility, but ultimately it's not the most dynamic thing in the world by any stretch of the imagination. Where it's all about for these is the look, the feel, the heft, the weight, how big they are. They're big, chunky figures, and they look really good. Paint is tremendous, sculpt is really well done. Love the cannons on them. I do wish the stealth variant glowed a little bit better, but ultimately what does glow, glows pretty well. And then of course it does have a few accessories. You've got that swap out visor, you got the bale of hay, and if you've got the other figures in this line, you can start of, you can sort of part out a, a farm type of display with some of the other stuff we've gotten so far. So that's gonna do it for this look at the Premium DNA Barnyard Commandos Private Side of Bacon. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time.